We're going to start with the SEC Championship game, and Ben Rainwater is here. So, Ben, take us through the two teams you have playing in the SEC Championship game. I think first and foremost, we mentioned it this morning when we were talking about this, you always start with Alabama. How do you yeah. start the SEC Championship game without Alabama? And that's where I'm going to start. I'm going to go with them in the West. In the East, I'm going to go with the Georgia Bulldogs. My Georgia Bulldogs, <laughs> I can't go against them. Looking at the schedule, though, it's a little bit tougher for Georgia. They've got to play at South Carolina and at Missouri. Two teams they're going to be fighting with in the SEC East, but they do get Auburn at home. So it'll be a tough road for them to get there, but I think they've got the team. As far as Alabama goes, their road games at Ole Miss, at LSU, I think they can win both of those games. Other tough games, Auburn and Texas A&M at home. I think Alabama ends up going undefeated once again, usual fashion for them, and they'll be the winner of the SEC in the end. What's interesting about the East and the West is they both are, are kind of wide open, I think. You know, we start with Alabama, as we talked about today, joked, until Alabama proves that they are not this dominating force yeah. every year, at least in contention. Yeah, I'm, I'm going with Alabama. The talent is there every year. They find a new running back. They find a new quarterback now. They'll have to get out there. But the talent is there regardless. The depth is there. And over the course of a season, that's a team that is tested for the battles. They have the bodies to, to, to keep going. But that's a group of Auburn also. They made some surprises last year uh, in, of course, winning and, and get to the national title game. A, a loaded field in the East. I went with South Carolina, just narrowly. I like what they've done with that program for a lot of the reasons that, that look at Alabama. I think depth across the board and their schedule, their toughest games are all at home. The only games they play on the road, uh, they have you know, Vanderbilt on the road, Kentucky on the road. A lot of the matchups where, where you, know, you look at it and say, is this a team that can win the conference? Georgia and those things, those are at home. So I like them. 